If you're growing perennial salvia like we are and you want to get continuous flushes of growth throughout the summer, you need to deadhead it. So stay tuned, we're going to show you how. Hey everybody. Hi guys. Hey, we hope you're having a great day today. We're enjoying ourselves out in our garden and um, we need to deadhead our salvia. Yeah, and so <laughs> we've got three perennial salvias, um, but they're all different. Two are hybrids, one's an agregii species. And so we're going to show you how we're going to actually uh, deadhead those because once you deadhead them, they get another flush of flowers. And if you continue to deadhead them throughout the summer, you'll get more flushes of flowers. Which is what we want, right? Because yep. they're yep. beautiful. So with that, let's show you the first one. So we wanted to introduce you to our first and second salvia that we're going to actually um, do this deadheading on. So first up, we've got proven winners, color spires, Back to the fuchsia. This is beautiful, and you can't really tell. Like it's that. long past needing uh, some some deadheading on it, but it's just grown so much. This is a couple years old in this container. Well, and we have we actually have two of them. There's one over in this container as well. Yes, yes, but so, you can see how yeah, big these it's get. Huge. So this is a perennial. It's a herbaceous perennial um, hybrid salvia. Okay, so here's our old flower stock, long past due to be deadheaded. See these two new uh, leaves right here. There's a set here, and that was a bud that broke. And then on the other side, there's two more. You're going to have two new flower stems coming off of these two new buds right here. It doesn't look like it right now, but that's where the next flower is going to come from on this herbaceous hybrid salvia. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right above that. And let me hold on to that there so it doesn't snap back. So now, since we've taken that off, we're going to have two new smaller uh, flowers than we've had in the first flush, but we're going to have two flowers, one from here on this stem and stalk and this one from this stem and stalk once they start to grow up. Okay, what we're going to do then is just continue to remove all of these uh, old flowers. And once we get that done, it's going to stimulate the whole plant to then grow a whole new flush, a second flush of flowers. You continue to deadhead this plant as it needs to be, and you'll get continual flushes of flowers the whole summer. So it really behooves us. It's, it's a great benefit to get through here and do all this deadheading. What are you smiling about? Be behooves? Does that date me? Do I, do I sound old? Maybe a little bit. No, that's okay. <laughs> I think we're, we're bringing it back. Okay, bringing it back. It behooves you to get started. Okay, I'm going I'm to get started. Now you can see I'm going through and doing... So here's another example I want to show you this because that one I just showed you, it's a little different. You can see here's the here's a, some modified leaves right here on this old flower stem. Here's the first true set of leaves and here's those flower stems. They're already starting to grow. There's a flower bud right there and right there. So yeah, we got to get this off of here so we trigger that to start growing those flowers. This is where it can be confusing. So we've got two flowers, old flower stems here, so first set of leaves. Okay, not really any buds growing there. Same thing here. Oh, oh. whoa, hummingbird. Oh. Hey, hummy. Did you guys see that? Look at wow. it. little hummy. <laughs> really tame. Really close. Yeah, really, guys. There's a couple different things going on here. The simplest way to do this is to follow what I told, what I just told you. Um, go down to the first two new sets of true leaves down below. See if those buds are breaking. Clip just above it. Do the whole plant. Uh, that same way and then come back and look at it from you know just take a step back and look at it and see if that's the shape that you want it to be in because if you don't then there's some other cuts you can make raise your hand if you love deadheading and pruning as much as sean does All right, guys, so I've made those initial cuts. You can see it's still kind of rangy. It's not really well developed or shaped. This is okay to keep it like this if this is all you want to do and you, you don't mind it looking a little bit more informal or more wild. Um, you can completely leave it like this. If you want to give it more of a shape, what you can do is say, let's, let's say you want to take the height down. You want to get rid of this right here. What you would do is instead of having made that cut and leaving it this way, Follow that all the way down to the next set of leaves. And you can see here, I've got more leaves and more potential stems. that are going to grow up from here. So I can just... That's a big flower. We don't want to cut that. That is. But what's going to happen is, is to keep, to keep this not as rangy looking, I'll cut that off and we'll get two more flowers now from down here. 
Okay. So we're just lowering the height. We will still have that potential to grow those two new flowers. Now keep in mind when you do this, the flowers that come afterwards on salvia and some other plants, the flowers are going to be smaller. They're not going to be as big. And so that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, and especially with salvia. So keep that in mind. All right, next. All right, next up is salvia gregii. This is a different kind of salvia. This is a hardwood salvia, and you can tell just by looking at it, there's nothing herbaceous about this growth. And so um, this is looking a little ragged. I know, I was like, um, should we be worried down I, here? I think what's going on, well, that split, but that was, that was from a previous uh, pruning to keep it away from this area and stop growing out into the walking path. I think it's been a little on the drier side than it likes, and that's why we're seeing this crispiness and a little bit of this dieback. You can see the flowers. Beautiful. They start down at the bottom, like most salvia flowers do, on their spikes. And then as they progress up in age, they progress up as they get older, and the flowers keep opening all the way up to the top. You can see up here we've got still some newer flowers that haven't opened yet, at least that one there. But down below... It's all old, so in my opinion, I would cut this off and deadhead it because we want that that flush of growth. We don't want to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And so we know from history, we've had this plant for years in this container, and it will mm -hmm. it will regrow, and well, sometimes into October. Yeah, right down here. See these right here? Here's the old one, and it's still flowering up top. But then look down here. These are new flowers growing, and it's very similar in a way where. Um, see, there's the new ones that are starting to open, and here's the younger ones. This plant is similar to the, this hardwood is so, uh, similar to the herbaceous one, where down below the old flower, then these buds break down below, and you get a new flower and a new flower on each side of the old flower. So, again, it's pretty much the same way to prune this as it is the herbaceous perennial. It's just, it looks a lot different, and um, it's definitely a different, it's, it's a harder wood plant, so... Just want to keep that in mind. So I'm going to apply the same principles I showed you over on the first uh, salvia. So if you can see, I'm just going to go down there. Kind of sad to cut the flowers we're, off. We're but... saving. Oh, we're yeah. saving this. We're saving this. We're removing this. There you go. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and go through this whole plant and do this. Um, and then again, we'll take a step back, see if we like the shape. If there's anything else we want to cut out to make it look a little bit more formal or not or whatever. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so you can see I've gone through, I've deadheaded most of these out. Oh, I might have missed one or two. But the thing is to take away from all this is that um, now we're going to get a new flush of flowers. I left a couple because they're still flowering and then there's some new ones coming in. Oh, so so I'm leaving those. This whole plant has been growing in this container with this herbaceous uh, salvia for a long time. So it's literally been pushed out with its growth. I want to prune this and reshape this. But right now it's a little on the crispy side it needs a lot more water and it's stressed so i don't want to prune on it just yet and shape it we'll wait to do that once it's healthier and it's not so crispy all right guys this is our last salvia here we actually have two of them right here now this is salvia blue by you this is a salvia hybrid this is um, from darwin perennials if you've ever heard of them they're a big outfit um, they're part of ball horticulture they have wonderful hybrids, and we've got two of them here. We've also got their Veronica over here on this side. You can see this plant right here. And then we've also got snuck in here, Allison snuck in here, a Nephophia. And it's that's got so this funny. huge, tall so uh, flower spike, so that's pretty. And again, the um, hummingbirds love Nephophia. They love also the, uh, the Salvia. They love all Salvia flowers. We also need so, the deadhead Veronica, so yep, that's coming soon. Yep. Saying all that, this is a herbaceous perennial. Um, again, it's a hybrid, but we're going to prune it basically the same way as the other two. Um, it's built the same way. It grows the same way. So again, I'm just going to follow down. If we go right here, let's let's see here. We've got this flower stem. We're going to go down. I don't see any new buds on this. Oh, I lied. There's two right there. Do you see them? One right there. Oh, really and tiny. one, yeah, real tiny. You got to look. So I'm going to make my cut right there because that's where our two new flowers are going to come from. So let me just do that real quick. There you go. Now they're going to come from, going to have a flower stem here and a flower stem there. Nice. And again, just like the other two, um, I'm going to go through, make these initial cuts, and then we'll take a step back mm -hmm. and see see what we got. Dodge some bees. 
be yep. careful. Yep, and then we'll see too if we need to make any other cuts to shape it or keep it a little tighter in this area. So that, here we go. All right, guys, so I've finished up pruning on this salvia. I think at this point, I'm gonna leave it alone. There's not really any other shaping that I wanna do. It's fairly even um, throughout this area of this pot. We can see, definitely need to deadhead some of the Veronica over there, but we'll do that in another video. All right, guys, so that's how you deadhead salvias, and that's how we like to take care of ours in our garden. Tell us down below how you like to take care of yours. You can expect flowers, your next flush of flowers, to come through on any of these salvias that we showed you how to deadhead within the next two to three weeks, depending if you're you know, watering on a regular basis and taking care of them the way you're supposed to. Yeah, you always want to make sure you're using best practices with these salvias to ensure that they do bloom again. You know, make sure your watering is consistent, make sure they have adequate sunlight and all the fertilizing that you need to do. Yep. In fact, we'll fertilize this soon. Yep, we're going to water these right after we uh, end this video. So thanks for being here. Make sure to comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, we'll see you later. I know. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.